Hi, how are you? My name is Simon. I go by he, him pronouns, and I attend Central United Church in Calgary, Alberta, in the Chinook Queens region. Well, I think personally, I lament my past. I'm 23, but I feel like from the hurt and the sadness I've experienced growing up behind this wall of internalized homophobia, I've lived through two lives already. Thank God that wall has fallen for me. But both sides of my family are traditional and honor is still important. For many of my white or straight friends, it seems unreasonable. I get them. I think it's unfortunate too. But there's a reason why we've come to this point. And really, it's another thing I lament. It's because the Spanish Americans and the Japanese took so much life and knowledge from us. There was a sacredness in being queer before, and now people don't see that anymore. I also lament the deaths that have been fueled by queer and transphobia, like Jennifer Laude, a Filipina trans woman who was killed by a US Marine for being who she is, but her killer was recently granted absolute pardon by the Philippine president. And I lament every single young person who still has to be in the closet, who still has to face abuse and harmful behavior because people think that they can pray it away. No words can describe how much it stabs me every time. I'm hopeful for my generation because youth are actually interested in faith and spirituality. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, you name it. And I often post things about queerness and how those things can intersect with being Filipino and Christian and how those things can exist together and affirming and celebrating those things in your life make you a better person. And whenever someone says something like, thanks for that, Simon, that was really helpful for me. It feels like my heart grows three times after seeing that, kind of like the Grinch. These are the moments that motivate me in my discernment to ordained ministry. Because when you ask me for an elevator pitch of why I want to enter the ministry, it's because I want to be there for people like me and to show that the divine has always been and will forever be within them. And so being part of this unique collection of identities, we have a lot to do. It can be overwhelming sometimes, but for the queer and trans Asians who want to see faith in a new lens, I want to be here for you, now and always. Mm -hmm.